Over to commodities. Crude oil remains near a two-week low, currently up by half a percent, 67.11 a barrel. Gold futures higher by three tenths of one percent, 938.70 an ounce. Now, staying with commodities, less than a year after oil tumbled a record 54 percent and the CRB index was suffering its biggest drop ever, commodity traders are back in the game. Michelle has more on that story. Michelle. Hi there, Aslanda. That is right. Commodities back in business and commodity traders are once again the hot must-have commodity at Wall Street firms. And they're being recruited with promises of million-dollar bonuses. Bank of America, for one, plans to boost its commodity headcount by 25%. London-based Barclays will increase staff about 6%. And Morgan Stanley is also recruiting traders in shipping. Now, Bank of America looking to expand its metals and energy team specifically by 25% in the next few years. The bank has already hired people in China, Singapore, and other Asian nations. And Bank of America, which is the biggest U.S. lender, did cut more than 46,000 jobs since the credit markets began to freeze two years ago. And now the company needs to add staff to profit from commodities trading, um, which has risen 32% since March. Let's uh, look at some of the biggest gainers. Oil increased 94% since February. Copper has rallied 97% this year. Assets in commodity mutual funds, indexes, and exchange-traded products rose about 19% to $209 billion in the second quarter. And banks feel that they need the manpower to take advantage of this. And Haslinda, they are willing to pay and pay big. Pay and pay big, but bonuses, a very contentious issue these days, Michelle. Oh, absolutely right. The banks are aware of this, and uh, they're trying to work around it. Citigroup, for one, is uh, trying to uh, cede control of its Fibro LLC energy trading unit because of a potential $100 million payday for the unit's chief, Andrew Hall. And that, of course, is raising concern among lawmakers and regulators. And uh, other banks are looking at changing the bonus model and to increase salaries instead. But, Aslinda, they still want those traders, and they're willing to pay. Back to you. Michelle McCorry, thank you.